Hey guys, it's Kay and I'm back with another video. This video is just going to be a curly hair routine. I have not done a video like this yet. Um, I have done like little routines in my vlogs, but this right here is just going to be solely about my hair. So if you guys are interested in watching this video, please stay tuned. I just want to throw out there a few disclaimers yes i sound like crap i don't got covid so don't even come for me um my allergies are acting a complete nut today like it started last night i don't know what's going on anyway um my nose is gonna be red i am gonna be like sneezing sounding really crazy bear with me okay bear with me but anyway i'm just gonna jump right in and let you guys know what's tea okay so i don't know if you guys ever heard about this product or not but this is what i've been using on my hair for probably the past like two years or so and when i say these products work they work do you hear me so me personally i feel like i have about 4a hair um some people might say like 3c but i think it's like mm, probably about 4a so for my texture hair i feel like thicker hair products work better for me so if the product is too thin or too runny too watery or anything like that it my, my hair is gonna laugh at it like what no it's not happening so let me show you guys real quick what I am using. So this right here is the Curls Unleashed line that I am using today. So last night I washed my hair and then it was too late to actually do something. I didn't want to go to sleep with my hair like full of product, I guess you would say. If it's wet, it'll dry pretty quick. But when it has product, it takes forever to dry. So anyway, went to sleep. All I put on my hair last night was a little leave-in conditioner and some oil. I combed it out, put it in a couple twists or whatever, which you will see. And then I went to sleep. My hair wasn't as wet as I wanted it to be, so I definitely use some water after that i do like to use the lock method which is leave-in conditioner oil cream or how i do it is i do leave-in conditioner cream and then i do like a gel and then oil so however you want to do all them alphabet letters that's what it is so first thing i did was use this leave-in conditioner so this is a shea butter and mango leave a moisturizing leave-in conditioner by curls unleash on the ors brand wow okay so this is what it looks like. I say this stuff works so freaking good. And when I tell you everything in this line smells absolutely amazing. Next thing I'm gonna go in with is my curl definer. And so this right here is the Curly Coil Rich Style Cream to ensures moisturizing curl definition, less shrinkage, which who, who likes shrinkage? We don't do shrinkage over here. Do you hear me? We don't do all that. And this smells absolutely amazing too. It has shea butter and honey in it. And this is what it looks like. Next, I use a curling, um, like a gel, but it's more like a souffle or a jelly or a something like that. So it doesn't make your hair really hard and crunchy, but it definitely gives you like a good hold to your hair without making it like flaky and stuff. So this is the Curls Unleash Texture Boosting Curl Jelly. It has aloe vera and honey in it. And so that is what that looks like. And when I say this stuff right here, it smells like grape candy or something it smells so good bam 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 last but not least i like to put a little bit of oil on my hair and this right here in this bottle it's just like a bunch of different oils that you can buy like from a beauty supply store and so it'll be like carrot oil jojoba oil which i probably didn't say that right but whatever um <laughs> vitamin c oil um tea tree oil it's just a bunch of different oils that i like to put in one bottle and then i'll use that on my hair whenever i need to it don't matter just as long as you have some type of oil to ensure like shine and to lock in the moisture and the products that's pretty much all that i use for my hair i probably should have put some makeup on because my nose looks like rudolph right now it looks like this dang button on this camera anyway <laughs> if you guys want to see how i got my hair to look like this in about four hours then please stay tuned so this is how i slept last night with my felicia braids but i was like girl the length is coming through I just went ahead and separated my hair and then unraveled one of the twists. I'm definitely going to put some water on there because like I said, it just wasn't as wet as I wanted it to be. I don't drench it with water, but I do definitely get it pretty damp. Next, I'm going to go in with a little leave-in conditioner, the one I showed you. It smells amazing. Y'all get these products. It smells so good. And I'm just going to put that on the whole section. And after I put the leave-in conditioner on, I'm going to go in with the curling um, defining cream. 
and I'm going to put that on the entire section as well and then brush it through to make sure that it's nice and detangled. So after I detangle, I like to take thin sections, horizontal sections at the back, and I don't want them too thick, probably about an inch, I would say. Um, this one is going to look pretty big, but that's just because it's the back of my head and I got all that hair back there, all that neck hair. <laughs> but I go in with a little bit of the jelly, and I definitely start at the roots. Try to make sure you start at the roots because that's the part that's usually puffy. Um, it usually doesn't define as easily as the ends. But when you start at the root, it starts your curl pattern directly from your root. So you'll have nice, clean, separated coils. And then after that, I just rake the products down, just kind of smoothing it. Um, you can think of like the palming technique. That's pretty much what I'm doing with my fingers. I just smooth it. And as you see, the curls just automatically start separating on their own. Sometimes I will go in and wherever they naturally want to separate, I'll just twirl it around my finger and just, you know, start that curl off for it. But I just let them separate naturally. If the section is too big, I will sometimes try to split it by rubbing my thumb across it, which you will see later on in the video. Yes, I like to just go in with the rest of that curling jelly throughout the ends of the hair to just make sure it's all nice and like even and really smooth. If I have to go back in with my brush to smooth it a little bit more, I'll do that. And I just keep pulling and like just rubbing it down, making sure it's all nice and smooth and even. And then as I'm doing that, I can start feeling my hair naturally separate. You see how those curls are just like naturally separating? Whenever I finish that section, that's when I like to go in with a little oil. I'll spray a little bit of oil in my hands. Just curls like that, I'll just lightly kind of put that oil onto my hair. And so this is where I was talking about like twirling the curl. Any little pieces that I saw was like a little too um, frizzy. I just went ahead and went back in with a little more jelly and just twirled them around my fingers or rubbed a little more jelly on it just to smooth them out a little bit more. I just sprayed it with a little bit of water just to make sure that it's nice and like damp. And then from there, I'm going to take some of my leave-in conditioner and just make sure it's nice and evenly distributed. I'm also going to use my brush here to just comb it through. After that, I'm gonna go in with my curl cream and I'm gonna put that all over this section. And as you can see, I like to apply my products to the root and then just kind of drag them down. I'm gonna use my brush again to make sure everything's nice and distributed. So I want to use just enough product that my hair is juicy and able to soak something up, but not too much to where it's just going to leave like a cast on it or it's just excessive. Next, I'm going to go in with like some thin horizontal sections. I'm going to make sure that the sections I pull are nice and combed out, nice and detangled um, and pretty smooth. Then I'm going to go in with my curl jelly start with maybe like a nickel size and again i like to start at the root of my hair and i like to feel for it to start getting smooth once i feel it getting smooth and i feel that texture changing i like to just pull that product down the rest of my hair and wherever i feel it starting to get a little more rough again which is most likely towards the end that's when i go in and apply a little bit more of that product 
applying the product at the root ensures that the root of your hair starts to curl as well. When it has a good amount of product and moisture to the root of the hair, you'll see it start to like naturally separate. And from there, I just let my hair naturally separate. Sometimes I'll just kind of twirl it a little bit around my finger to just help that curl start. And then I'll let it go. So once you start defining your hair, you'll start noticing what your curls want to do, how big your curls want to be, how small they want to be or need to be in order to be a nice defined curl. If your hair is very loose, two or three hair, um, you can do larger sections. You may not have to do sections at all, you know, but when it starts getting to the higher threes to the fours, your sections need to be smaller. So I'm gonna show you what this section kind of looks like. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm just gonna keep going with this here and I'll let you guys watch. left with these last few sections at the top these last two sections okay this is what the rest of the hair is looking like I just want to show you guys I'm doing the same thing but along the top part I'm taking vertical sections like going back she was a good time but I need something everlasting So as you can see, along the top of my hair, I do definitely use a lot more product. 
um, still not excessive, but more product just because that's that top of my hair. Um, it gets drier quicker, I guess that makes sense. Um, and then I also take smaller sections. I let my curls, you know, form naturally, but if I can, I try to make them even smaller because it just keeps the curl definition a little bit longer. I also use more oil when it comes to the top portion of my hair. Almost every section, I try to put a little bit of oil in there just because, again, it gets drier up there. Once I'm finished, I like to just throw my hair back just so that my curls do not dry in my face. So I like to just throw my head back, kind of shake my curls a little bit to get them loose, make sure that they're not stuck to each other. And then I kind of periodically do that throughout the day. Maybe like, mm, I'll say maybe like three or four times throughout the day, I'll just kind of throw my head back, kind of shake my head from side to side. I try to be careful not to do too much, but just don't, you don't want your curls to stick together. curling my hair up all of this product here it's gonna soak into my hair as you can see over here you don't see a lot of product over here it's still fresh I'm just gonna leave it alone let it dry throughout the day then I'll come back to you guys later on once it's pretty dry usually it takes it's pretty early right now so if I do my hair early by evening time or you know right before bed my hair is pretty dry Okay, so I know I look crazy, I know. But, and my allergies have gotten worse. Like, what the heck is wrong with me? But anyway, um, <laughs> this is what my hair is looking like. At the top, it's probably about 90% dry. And so, once my hair hit about 90% dry, I pulled it up into this pineapple so that the back could dry. Never shaped my hair. I've only, you know, continued to trim on it and, you know, clean it up in certain areas. It's not bad. Let me say that. It's really not bad. But yeah, I just wanted to come and like let you guys know like what this looks like. Hopefully you guys like this video of me explaining to you and showing you guys how I do my curly hair routine. Let me know if it works for you guys. And if you have never tried these products, definitely try them. And let me know if you like it. These products work for my hair. They work for my hair. And since I found something that actually works for my hair, I just, I can't, I can't try anything else. I think I do want to start doing a few more videos like this, just so I can show you guys. just a better way um, or an alternative way of how to care for your curls. And yeah, I think that's about it. So I'm about to get off of here. I need to go get those kids and I will holler at you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Come back and watch more and more and more. And you guys have a great blessed day. Bye. She was a good time, but I need something everlasting. Her favorite activity is spending time and sex with Oh, how could I ever get past it? I can never feel like the daddy one, no. Had to switch it. Shawty got a blocky and it won't come with extensions. Turn out different, but we still can't.